everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to test some new makeup and actually we have a brush set from Wish. So I ordered this set a month ago maybe and I just received it. So we have these pink brushes and all of them are small eye brushes so we don't have face brushes but we're going to try to use as much of these as we can so no other brushes for the eyes except from these ones also i've ordered the natasha denona metropolis palette uh, it's beautiful i also have some urban decay products a sleek blush and some new lashes so we're just going to dive in and see how this turns out but before we do that i just want to advise you or recommend you to subscribe to my channel it would really really help me and of course uh, like comment all of that but yeah with that said let's uh, start this video i'm just going to unpack all of these so they're really cute a uh, baby pink kind of color a uh, very very soft the bristles are a bit crooked on this one but uh, when you wash them for the first time and everything it can change the whole look of the brush this particular brush i would use for my highlight it's a fan brush then we have this more tapered blending brush a bigger fluffier brush then we have this bigger but thinner packing brush maybe i would use it oh they have names so this is a short shader brush i would use it for highlight or contouring the nose or something like that and a large shader brush one an eyelash and eyebrow 12 uh, it has a spoolie in the end so it's just an angled eyebrow brush a tapered blending brush a medium shader brush 2 so a smaller packing brush or a concealer brush a blending brush 7 so a larger and a fluffier blending brush a angled shading brush 4 a bend eyeliner brush 10 and a flawless concealer brush 5 I just had to check my dog because she was barking as f okay uh, we're going to start with our eyebrows so we're going to fill them in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in the shade top and we're going to use the angled, no, the eyelash and eyebrow 12. So the angled eyebrow brush with the spoolie in the end. It's very thin and small. I like that because you can be very precise with those kinds of brushes. And as always, you can hear my washing machine in the background. I really should start to plan when I'm going to do the laundry. Yeah, I, I really like this brush. Very precise. I will probably use this a lot. I think this brush set wasn't more than eight, nine dollars, but I will put it somewhere here on the screen so you can see the exact price. And the brand is Ranmore, Animore, Ranimore. So I saw that they had some other brush set because I couldn't find this particular one when I was checking yesterday. But if I do, I can put a link. Now we want to clean the brows and do them more precise. So we're going to take this medium shade of brush 2 and some concealer. This is the Infinable More Than Concealer from L'Oreal in the shade Ivory 322. I think the brush is a little bit too big for this, but we don't have another brush that we can use for this. So we're going to test and see. When you buy a brush set, you shouldn't have to 
use other brushes as well you're just supposed to you know be fine with the brushes you bought so we're not going to sheet and use other brushes this was just fine actually I like that brush as well I um, look just like I always do when I made my brows so that's good now we're going to take my soft ochre pro long wear paint pot from mac and first we apply it with that same brush on the lids just like that and then we take the flawless concealer brush this is a bit fluffier and bigger and we blend out the product all over the lids this is very soft brush I would prefer it to be a bit stiffer and I is that no I thought it was a hair it wasn't so sometimes when you test new brushes you can find bristles all over your face and I hate that those brushes I just uh, throw out but nothing so far I think the bristles actually soaked some of the product but nothing crazy now we're going to apply some eyeshadow we're going to test the new not really new but new Natasha Denona Metropolis eyeshadow palette so I wanted to buy this for a long time but it's expensive I think it was over $100 so that's really expensive I already have the Natasha Denona gold palette it was also very expensive because of this palette I really really want to test it another one this would be good for everyday makeup as well as full glam makeup so it's really my color scheme so I thought why not we take the blending brush 7 and the the rope uh, it's the lightest shade the lightest matte shade I love the Huda Beauty palettes because their mirrors are so big so we use that mirror yeah okay that's pigmented but I'm not really liking the brush we take another one we take the eye crease brush 8 it looks very similar I hope it's more fluffy so this is our transition shade I would like a more um, fluffier blending brush these are very precise and they are a bit short but not uh, too short you know it can be irritating when you have too little space you want to have some space between your hand and the bristles because it gives it a lighter touch and a lighter hand when you're applying instead of holding the brush in here then it's very hard and you're just pressing when you have your hand further away you uh, it's more feathery and uh, it can be hard if the brush or the handle of the brush is too short but I think that's good for the transition shade so what next no we take the ripe the orangey matte with the tapered blending brush 6 this looks very pigmented oh yes that's pigmented the look I mean my god these are so pigmented it's it's crazy we take the contour brush 9 and the antique so it's a brown with some shimmer and just darken up the outer corner 
we want another brush. We take the tapered blending brush six, yeah, the one we took orange with, and we take the brown with that. And now we want to test some black. So we take the small, small blending brush, the Enigma. It's not really a black, it's actually a blue, but we test it anyway. Okay, that's pigmented. <laughs> it's beautiful. We take the same concealer and the same concealer brush as we used before and cut the crease. And uh, the, the penny, it's a golden shimmer. Oh, that's pretty. We clean the concealer brush and try to pack on with that one instead. And then we just blend the shades together. Then we just take the leftover of, on the brush and apply on the lower lash line. I'm just going to grab a wipe and clean some of the fallout. And then we will continue with the rest of the face. So I kind of regret that I didn't put tape under my eyes because then we would have, you know, a perfect line. I will put on some liner and then we'll test the mascara. So let's try the Urban Decay Perversion Volumizing Mascara. We also are going to apply lashes later, but I want to test this out anyway. So yeah, this is the Bigger, Blacker, Better Perversion Mascara. I've seen a lot of good reviews on this, so I had to try it. So let's apply that on our top lashes okay it makes them a bit clumpy but we'll see later on the lower lashes now we're going to test these lashes from Revlon you get four pairs and they are the volumize lashes I guess you only get the lashes, no glue, so I'm just going to use my own glue and apply them, and then we will continue. We continue with the base, so I'm going to apply a NYX color correcting primer, a green one, and then a pore filler primer. The purpose of this video is the brush set and the new product, so I'm not going to talk too much about the rest of the products, the products I've already used. Then I apply my Revlon Colorstay Combination to Oily Skin Foundation in the shade Buff. I mix it out with some white Pro Foundation Mixer from NYX and sometimes other foundations and I just mix that on my hand and then apply some of it not all on my face as I said before we didn't receive any face brushes in the brush set so I'm going to use my Milani foundation brush and just buff and blend in the foundation and actually I my forehead already looks pretty good it doesn't need a lot of foundation, but during the day it gets red, depending on uh, what I'm doing. And uh, the foundation prevents that, you can't see it as well. So therefore I apply on the forehead anyway. We apply some concealer and with the Flawless Con Concealer Brush 5, we're going to blend that under our eye. I actually like this. We take a triangular sponge and my Huda Beauty baking powder, transparent one, set 
my face. I take some powder contour and just a brush for that and set the contour. So we have this short shader brush 3 and we haven't used it yet. So I'm going to take some of the uh, powder contour, lightly contour the nose. For blush we're going to try this new blush from Sleek Makeup. It's the Life's a Peach. Now I put my nail in it, but that's the shade, beautiful. I just take that with the same brush we applied contour. Oh, that's peachy. <laughs> that's pigmented. Try to blend that with some powder. It looks really, really good in a mirror, but when I look at a monitor, it seems like I over apply everything, but yeah, I don't know. We take some Ofra highlighter, I just mix a bunch of them with this little fan brush. Okay, it actually applies it beautifully. Actually, we have one more product. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting. Blah, blah, blah. I think this gives more of a matte finish, but I'm not sure. But let's apply it. Okay, so this is the final look. I love it. Uh, I love the Natasha Denona palette. This will be my new favorite and I think I will come up with a lot of beautiful looks with it. The brush set was actually over my expectations. I mean, Wish have some seriously doubtable products, but this was really, really good. It could have been one more concealer brush, a more precise and smaller one and thinner, but um, yeah, I mean, I did a look with it without problem. It's very, very affordable and if you need some new makeup brushes, I would really, really advise you to look on Wish or AliExpress. They have really, really good brushes and they look gorgeous and uh, yeah. Well, that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more videos like this, like the video and leave a comment. And of course, if you don't want to miss my other videos, you should really consider to subscribe. And yeah, I see you next one. Bye.